The Apple M5 MacBook Pro has finally arrived, and it's already creating a massive buzz across the tech world. With Apple's latest silicon breakthrough, the new M5 chip, we're entering a new chapter in performance, AI acceleration, and power efficiency for professional laptops. Now that the M5 iPad Pro and M5 Vision Pro are officially out, all eyes are on the MacBook Pro lineup. And this might just be the most balanced and refined generation yet. But before you rush to pre-order or upgrade, there are quite a few important details you need to know. Not just a few highlights, but an in-depth understanding of how this machine truly changes the Mac experience for 2025 and beyond. The M5 MacBook Pro is built around Apple's 2 nanometers process chip, developed in partnership with TSMC, and this tiny architectural leap delivers a surprisingly large jump in real-world performance. In fact, leak benchmarks show up to 15% better CPU performance over the M4 and roughly 36 to 45% improvements in GPU capability, depending on the workload. Apple claims that the new M5 architecture brings a stronger focus on AI workloads, creative rendering, and data compression, all while maintaining unmatched efficiency. This means smoother Final Cut Pro edits, faster render times in Blender, and even better performance in machine learning models that leverage Apple's updated neural engine. Unlike past years, Apple decided to launch the base M5 variant first on the MacBook Pro. Before unveiling the M5 Pro, and M5 Max models expected to arrive later in 2026. While some users find that confusing, since the current Mac lineup includes everything from the M3 Ultra to M4 Max, it's clear that Apple wants to showcase the new architecture's raw capabilities early on. In practical terms, this chip may not match the M4 Max in multi-core power, but in single-core efficiency and AI processing, it absolutely dominates. That's a sign that the company is preparing for a deeper integration of on-device intelligence through Apple Intelligence in Mac OS 16. Performance-wise, the M5 is no joke. Geekbench 6 data points toward 12% faster CPU results compared to M4 and nearly 2x faster AI video processing in creative apps like Topaz Video Enhance. AI-powered tools from image upscalers to real-time noise removal now work far more seamlessly. When you render a 4K timeline in Final Cut or process raw photos in Lightroom, you'll see that everything happens with noticeably less heat, less noise, and fewer power spikes. Apple's new 10-core GPU design scales much better this time, offering improved ray tracing performance, which is a major win for those running 3D visualization software or games like Cyberpunk 2077 through macOS emulation. In Blender, for instance, Early tests show a near 2x rendering speed increase, while code compilation in Xcode gets a measurable 20% speed boost. In AI-based audio editing, tasks such as real-time voice enhancement see up to 3x faster output thanks to the new neural accelerator inside each GPU core. That's a massive generational jump, and even though it might not sound huge on paper, the combination of faster CPU, more efficient GPU and AI acceleration makes this laptop feel shockingly fluid during heavy workloads. One major highlight in this release is storage. The base M5 MacBook Pro now supports up to 4 terabytes of internal SSD, doubling the previous M4's 2 terabytes limit. It's an upgrade that professional users have been requesting for years, particularly those who manage large video projects or 3D assets. Apple storage technology has also received a major boost, with SSD speeds now up to 2x faster compared to the M4 generation. In real-world testing, that means you can transfer 200 gigabytes of ProRes footage in seconds or launch enormous creative projects almost instantly. The M5's SSD is now capable of speeds approaching 7 gigabytes per second, levels previously reserved only for the M4 Pro and M4 Max variants. For video editors, musicians, and developers, this makes a night and day difference. The system feels snappier and more reliable, and background tasks like Mac OS indexing no longer cause noticeable slowdowns. And even though Apple continues to charge a premium for higher storage options, users who value pure performance and convenience will likely find the upgrade worthwhile. Memory also sees a nice jump. 
The M5 chip's unified memory bandwidth rises from 120 gigabytes per second on the M4 to 153 gigabytes per second, giving the CPU and GPU much faster access to share data. In practical ter, MS, this helps multitasking, large dataset handling, and high-resolution graphics, rendering run smoother. It's not quite at the level of the M4 Pro's 273 gigabytes per second or M4 Max's 546 gigabytes per second, but it's still a very welcome improvement for base model users. When running demanding workflows like having Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Safari, and Xcode all open simultaneously, the MacBook Pro doesn't choke or slow down as older base models sometimes did. Then comes the neural engine. And this is where Apple truly flexes its AI muscle. The M5 chip introduces a dedicated neural accelerator in each GPU core, similar to what we've seen in the A19 Pro chip for iPhone 17 Pro models. The result? Over 4x faster GPU compute power for AI tasks compared to the M4, and a mind-blowing 6x faster AI performance compared to the M1. This means that the M5 MacBook Pro isn't just faster at traditional workloads, it's ready for the AI era. Expect massive gains in features like automatic background removal, real-time transcription, smart object selection, and on-device large language model assistance once Apple expands Apple intelligence across Mac OS in 2026. You'll be able to do things like summarize long documents, enhance videos using AI color correction, or even train small machine learning models locally without overheating your laptop. This truly positions the M5 MacBook Pro as a hybrid between a traditional performance laptop and an AI workstation. Connectivity, however, remains one of the few unchanged areas. The M5 MacBook Pro retains Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, just like its predecessor. That's not necessarily bad. These are still fast and reliable standards. But with the iPad Pro and iPhone 17 lineup already adopting Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6, it feels like Apple could have done more to future-proof this laptop. That said, leaks indicate that the M5 Pro and M5 Max versions launching in early 2026 will feature full Wi-Fi 7 support and upgraded Thunderbolt 5 ports for up to 120 gigabits per second data transfer. For now, you're getting standard Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 output, an SDXE card reader, and a 3.5mm headphone jack with high impedance support. A solid setup for professionals, though not cutting edge. Definements in the thermal system reportedly improve airflow and reduce noise under sustained workloads. Some reports suggest Apple might introduce an optional matte anti-reflective coating on select models in the future, though that's yet to be confirmed. The display remains a stunning 14.2-inch or 16.2-inch liquid Retina XDR panel, still one of the best in the world with 1,600 nits of peak brightness and full P3 color accuracy. While there are whispers about OLED displays coming to the MacBook Pro line in late 2026, for now, the mini LED panels continue to dominate with their insane contrast ratios and high refresh rates. As for pricing, the M5 MacBook Pro starts at $1,599 for the base configuration, a fair deal considering the performance bump, though not dramatically cheaper or more expensive than its predecessor. Higher configurations with maxed out storage and memory can easily push beyond $3,000, especially if you opt for the 4 terabytes SSD. But again, you're paying for Apple's unmatched integration of hardware and software, reliability, and that sleek professional design. So, should you pre-order the M5 MacBook Pro right now? Honestly, probably not immediately. If you're upgrading from an M1 or M2, the performance leap will be significant. But if you already own an M3 or M4 model, it might be worth waiting for the M5 Pro or M5 Max versions that are expected to launch in early 2026. Those chips will offer far better graphics, memory bandwidth, and I.O. options, along with Wi-Fi 7 support. Alternatively, if you want something powerful today without paying full price, the M4 Pro MacBook Pro refurbished still gives you incredible value, better multi-core performance, and more ports, plus it includes a charger. Looking ahead, 
Apple is preparing for a complete redesign with OLED MacBook Pros, possibly coming late next year. And that's when we might see an even more refined chassis and lighter build. Until then, the M5 MacBook Pro is the perfect bridge between today's professional laptops and tomorrow's AI-optimized machines. It blends power, intelligence, and efficiency into a package that defines the next stage of Apple Silicon. Whether you're editing 8K videos, coding massive projects, or running AI workloads, the M5 MacBook Pro 2025 to 2026 edition ensures you stay ahead of the curve. So what do you think? Is the M5 MacBook Pro worth your money right now? Or will you wait for the next pro-level upgrade? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned. Because once Apple launches the M5 Pro and M5 Max MacBook Pros, the entire professional Mac lineup will enter a new era of speed, intelligence, and creative freedom. Subscribe and keep watching for full hands-on testing, real-world performance benchmarks, and everything Apple has planned for 2026.